are you? I'm Mr. Burnett. I'm Reggie. Can you take out Megan? How old are you? I'm 15, Mr. Burnett. Mother you look dirty. Martin Lawrence, who is best known as a superstar stand-up comedian, actor, producer, talk show host, writer, and former Golden Gloves boxer, has been able to snag some pretty luxurious real estate, including a massive 116-acre ranch in Purcellville, Virginia, he purchased back in 1997. Prior to this, Lawrence had listed his 13,000 square foot Beverly Hills mansion that boasted of seven bedrooms and nine and a half bathrooms for rent for a whopping $200,000 a month. I mean, not a bad deal considering The Dig featured a state-of-the-art movie theater a concession stand? I mean, I would do it. We'll take a look at Martin Lawrence's 24,000 square foot Virginia estate, along that featured five bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms, along with his former mansion that came complete with a pool, cabana, and its very own kitchen aquarium. This is a bachelor pad that you can't miss, ladies and gentlemen. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. Martin Lawrence's successful career in show business has landed him a net worth of $110 million. Martin Lawrence has accumulated his net worth through his many acting roles in film and television, as well as his own TV series named Martin. I want you out. I don't even know why you're still here. Step! Step! <laughs> and his many stand-up comedy specials. Perhaps his first big break was hosting the series Def Comedy Jam on HBO in 1992. This series gave many comedians their mainstream break, including Dave Chappelle, Chris Tucker, and Bernie Mac. But I love sex. I love it. Can't do shit no more. And I'm blessed. <laughs> As Lawrence began rising to fame, so did his salary and earnings. Lawrence brought home $6 million for 1997's Nothing to Lose and $8.5 million for 1999's Life. We eat your cornbread. You can't have my cornbread. I'm from New York City. It's gonna be consequences and repercussions. One of y'all wanna hit me down my back? We gotta get out of here. He earned 20 million for 1999's Blue Streak, and in 2011, he earned 13 million for the What's the Worst That Could Happen. He made 16 and a half million on 2001's Black Knight, 20 million on 2003's National Security, and 20 million on 2003's Bad Boys 2. While Lawrence has seen success in the entertainment industry and his bank account, he has been plagued by difficulties in his personal life. The first sign was during the filming of A Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Lawrence reportedly flew into a violent rage and had to be hospitalized after collapsing. In January 1997, Lawrence's co-star Tisha Campbell Martin filed a loss against him alleging sexual harassment and abuse on both on and off the set of Martin. Followed by in the spring of 1997, Lawrence was arrested after punching a man in a nightclub in Hollywood. And finally, while preparing for Big Mama's house, he collapsed from heat exhaustion and was in a coma for three days. He almost died as his body temperature hit 107 degrees. His breathing was assisted by a ventilator while he was in the coma. For years, Lawrence owned the beautiful large mansion in the Beverly Park neighborhood of Beverly Hills. It's where he and his former wife, Shamika Gibbs, had their wedding. After their divorce, that house was available for rent at 200 a month in June 2012. In 2013, the estate hit the market for $26.5 million. He eventually sold it to Los Angeles real estate developer Bruce Makowski for $17.2 million. Lawrence then bought a home in Encino, Florida for $6.6 .6 million and snagged that spacious farm near Percival, Virginia. Hey guys, it's your boy Marlon Palmer and today we're bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. I know it's 95% of you guys are watching right now and not subscribed. Please hit that subscribe button because we post new videos daily. Now we've previously reported on the homes of Keith Urban and Tiger Woods, so if you guys would like to check those out they are on our channel feel free to do so if you like these videos ring that bell for notifications and follow me on instagram at that mcfly so we can chat some more as well as comment in the comment section down below what house tour we should do next let's get into this video Following Martin Lawrence's divorce with Shamika Gibbs, Lawrence had put his 13,900 square foot, seven bedroom and nine bathroom mansion up for rent. The only kicker, those interested in renting would have to fork up a whopping 200K a month. This was definitely the definition of a bachelor pad as some of its own luxurious features included a wine room for those that are fancy a Chardonnay and a state of the art movie theater that comes complete with its very own concession stand. In case guests wanted to catch hours of Big Mama's house while they crush popcorn, other cool features include a kitchen aquarium, pool and cabana for those that like to relax in style. Guests can try their luck at a well-lit billiards table, which boasts terrific views of Beverly Hills from the comfort of your own couch. For those who want to work hard and play hard, can do so on the tennis court or shred a few weights in the home gym. While this place was quite glamorous, nobody budged and in 2013, the estate hit the market for $26.5 million. However, once again, nobody snagged the house and Lawrence eventually sold the mansion to a LA real estate developer for $17.2 million. After Martin Lawrence unloaded the massive bachelor pad in Beverly Hills, he downgraded to a newly constructed mansion in the 
the suburban community of Encino, California. The property was originally listed for $7.1 million and then lowered to $6.6 .6 million and boasts over 10,000 square feet of space and features seven bedrooms and seven and a half bathrooms. This three-story mansion was securely walled and gated and featured an abundance of glamorous luxuries, including a half a dozen fireplaces, a massive garage space for four cars, a heated negative edge swimming pool, and boasted long and wide views over the San Fernando Valley. Martin Lawrence recently moved into his 120 acre spread nestled into the rolling hills near historic Purcellville, Virginia, up on the market for eight and a half million dollars. The almost 24,000 square foot property boasts five bedrooms and 10 bathrooms, sits about an hour outside of Washington, DC. Guests are greeted to a double height entrance gallery with a curved wet bar for those who fancy a little Chardonnay. The wet bar is the hub around which a series of interconnected open plan living and entertaining spaces are elegantly placed. Several rooms feature monumentally massive stone fireplaces and the family room includes yet another kitchen sized wet bar. Equally impressive, the dining room is open to a center island kitchen flooded with natural light from six skylights atop the vaulted ceiling. For those lucky enough to visit, it can relax lavishly as all four guest bedrooms are in the suite. The secluded master suite is accessed by a private staircase, includes a sitting room with its very own kitchenette, an enormous bedroom with fireplace, a bi-wing dressing room, and a compartmentalized bathroom with his and her areas. A vast recreation and leisure wing includes a central lounge, a gym for those who want to pump, a little iron, and a locker room style bathroom. Martin Shore enjoys his own private cinema. This abode also features his very own 12 seat movie theater. Perhaps some of the most luxurious features including an indoor swimming pool and spa, an indoor basketball court, and a two lane bowling alley. That's right, Martin Lawrence has his own basketball court and bowling alley. While the inside features are pretty lavish, the best views of the property are found in the backyard of the property. The multi-winged mega manse occupies a grassy rise between two private ponds, perfectly manicured and trimmed grounds, while the property additionally offers a large gazebo and the potential for equestrian facilities. This natural light filled abode allows scenic views from every angle. All right, so I think I'll end this house tour here. We got to take a look at Martin Lawrence's home and that massive house in Purcellville, Virginia with its own basketball court and bowling alley. Like, that's amazing. After seeing that house city snagged, what did you guys think? Was it everything you expected out of Martin Lawrence? Personally, I would have had a hard time choosing between the basketball court or the bowling alley. That's always my dilemma. I don't know about you guys, but out of Lawrence's features, which ones were your fave? You guys can even go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at McFly, and I'll see you guys next video.